This is Farshid with another video just for you. We have a shower here with a light and it's a pretty small bathroom and we have switches on the wall which one turns the light on to the vanity area and then we have next that turns on the fan the exhaust fan and then the last switch turns on the light to our shower so since it's a small bathroom what i like to do is whenever we have the light on to the shower have the exhaust fan running at the same time to uh, get rid of some of the moisture that gets accumulated in this uh, small bathroom at the same time i don't want the fan when it comes on by itself to turn the light on this switch is for the light for the vanity this switch is for our exhaust fan and this switch is for the light for the shower so what we want to accomplish is when we flip this switch on exhaust fan comes on by itself when we flip this switch on the light for the shower comes on and the exhaust fan you can see right here all this uh, rust on this switch is most likely due to the moisture accumulating in this small bathroom most people don't turn the fan on when they take a shower so in this particular case we're going to set this up so there is no choice when you turn on the light to the shower you're going to have your exhaust fan getting rid of that uh, moisture that gets accumulated in this room so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this switch with a switch that is called a double pull switch okay so the double pull switch what it gives us essentially gives us two switches in one body two i should say isolated switches in one body this is one switch right and then this side here is our second switch the black screw is going to be our hot coming in and this is the connection to our um, device we can run this one to our light and then on this side hot comes in and we're going to run this one to our fan exhaust fan all right we're going to hook this up and uh, test it out all right stand by okay so we have the power turned off to our switch bank and take these out real quick also i'm going to go ahead and replace this anyway since it's got some uh, rust on there it's an older switch while we're at it we're going to go and replace it So you can see there, this is actually a black uh, wire here that's been sprayed on, comes here to this terminal and then jumps over to the next switch. So that is going to be our hot. And this is wire that goes to our fan. This is the wire that goes to our light in the shower. All right. So let me disconnect these and well, I guess let me show you how we disconnect them because uh, there may be some of you folks don't know how to take these off where they're actually stabbed in from the back there. You can take a screwdriver. Well, you can't see that now. How about now? Can you see it now? Yeah. Take a screwdriver in this little slot over here, push down on the screwdriver and then pull out on the wire. That's the one that went, that's going to the light. Okay. And if you're unfamiliar with how um, electrical circuits work, you may want to mark these. So this is going to go here. This wire that we took out for our light, it will go to this top one here, right? And then this will have another jumper go from here to here. And then this will take a jumper and feed it to exhaust fan okay so here we are we're going to make this connection now where it goes into our um, switch for 
the exhaust fan. It's going to go around the uh, screw. So in order to create a little loop, we use our tool here. You can grab onto this, rotate it like that. Now you have a little loop. And again, keep in mind, we're going to put the loop in a direction as the screw tightens, we pull the loop toward the center of that uh, screw. Okay, so we are finished now. So this is, I went ahead and um, changed this switch also since it was uh, rusted. This is the switch that's going to activate our exhaust fan. This is the new switch that we put in. It's the double pull switch that's going to activate our exhaust fan and the light for our shower. And then uh, one other thing to keep in mind is that be mindful of the position of the switch, which means that if there are words on the switch, such as on and off, make sure that the switch is positioned as such that the off is showing when the switch lever is down. And uh, with that being said, here's a quick sketch of what uh, I did. There's the schematic diagram of it. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please uh, subscribe to my channel.